Tesla is reportedly ramping up for one of its most ambitious ventures yet, the production line for the 2026 Tesla Pi phone fold. How will Elon Musk's team manage the complexities of mass-producing a foldable device that merges automotive-grade durability with cutting-edge consumer electronics? Can Tesla hit the production targets that would make this phone a real competitor against Apple's rumored iPhone Fold and Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold series? And what does this mean for supply chains, materials, and delivery timelines for tech enthusiasts like us? Today on Auto Gear Shift, we break down the latest leaks, analyze production strategies, and project what the rollout might actually look like, all grounded in data and real-world comparisons. Unlike other channels that chase rumors, we focus on numbers, logistics, and tangible tech impacts. If you want the inside scoop on Tesla's production game plan, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and help us push past 18,181 subscribers. You won't want to miss a single update. How will Tesla scale? The Pi phone fold production without hitting roadblocks. Tesla's push into consumer electronics with the 2026 Pi phone fold isn't just a smartphone launch. It's a full-scale production engineering challenge. Insider leaks point to two main production hubs, a primary facility at Gigafactory Austin, Texas, and a secondary line at Fremont, California. Each facility is projected to handle 120,000 to 150,000 units monthly, translating to roughly 1.4 to 1.8 million units per year from the first year alone. For context, Apple's rumored iPhone Fold is estimated at 900,000 units annually during its initial launch, while Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 6 manages about 1.2 million. This means Tesla is aiming for the fastest ramp-up among foldable devices in market history. The backbone of this capability lies in the materials and automation strategy. Tesla reportedly employs a hybrid aerospace-grade aluminum alloy for the chassis, combined with carbon fiber composites adapted from Starship prototypes. The result is a hinge system rated for over 500,000 folds and heat resistance up to 110 degrees Celsius, almost double what competitors like Apple or Samsung currently offer, whose flexible screens often max out at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius before degrading. The internal frame is being produced using precision CNC milling machines adapted from Tesla's automotive operations, while carbon fiber reinforcements are applied through automated layup robots, a technique borrowed from high-end EV structural components. Automation continues throughout the assembly line. Tesla plans robotic hinge installation with torque monitoring down to 0.01 newton meters to ensure uniformity, ultrasonic welding of internal frames, and AI-driven optical inspections at multiple stages. According to leaked engineering notes, this multi-point inspection could cut hinge misalignment and microfracture defects by approximately 40%, which is significant given foldable smartphones' notorious fragility. Even minor hinge deviations in competing models can result in screen creasing, hinge snapping, or uneven folding pressure, issues that plague Samsung and Apple devices despite higher price points. Supply chain management is also a major focus. Flexible OLED panels are reportedly sourced from South Korea, while Tesla experiments with aluminum ion battery modules produced domestically in Texas. High-performance microprocessors come from TSMC in Taiwan, and minor components, including ultra-thin copper flex circuits, are planned from Japan. Synchronizing these components is complex. A delay in flexible OLED panel delivery could halt the entire line. To mitigate this, Tesla plans a parallel subassembly track with buffer stocks capable of sustaining one month of production. An uncommon strategy in consumer electronics, but standard in automotive assembly. Vertical integration sets Tesla apart from competitors. Unlike Apple or Samsung, which outsource a majority of foldable phone assembly, Tesla intends to manage roughly 70% of assembly in-house, including hinge fabrication, chassis welding, and module assembly. This allows real-time adjustments to production protocols, quality checks, and material handling based on daily output, reducing defect rates, and shortening the time from assembly to shipment. 
Analysts estimate this could accelerate Tesla's time to market by up to three months compared to Apple, while maintaining production volumes higher than Samsung in the early stages. Finally, energy efficiency and sustainability are embedded in the line design. Tesla reportedly uses regenerative assembly robots that recapture kinetic energy during hinge installation and modular subassembly, reducing power consumption by an estimated 15 to 20 percent per unit compared to traditional assembly lines. Coupled with low waste materials and automated recycling of defective panels, Tesla aims for both high throughput and environmentally conscious production, aligning with its broader EV manufacturing ethos. Which part of Tesla's Pyphone Fold production impresses you the most? The robotic assembly, materials, or supply chain integration? Comment A for robot, B for materials, or C for supply if you think that's the coolest part. Then, share why in the comments below. What battery technology powers the Tesla Pi Phone Fold, and how does it compare? One of the most critical aspects of the 2026 Tesla Pi Phone Fold is its battery system. According to multiple leaks from suppliers and insiders, Tesla is moving away from conventional lithium-ion chemistry, instead opting for aluminum-ion, ion modules. These batteries reportedly allow for full charge cycles in roughly 9 to 12 minutes, compared to Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6's lithium polymer battery, which takes about 70 to 75 minutes for a full charge, and Apple's expected iPhone Fold at 65 to 70 minutes. While these numbers are based on lab projections, insiders suggest that even accounting for real-world inefficiencies, Tesla could deliver 40 to 50% faster charging than competitors. Capacity-wise, the Allion pack is estimated at 1,100 to 1,200 milliamp hours per foldable module, with two modules integrated for the full device, giving a total effective capacity of approximately 2,200 to 2,400 milliamp hours. Thanks to Tesla's proprietary energy-dense electrode design, this is expected to maintain up to 90% capacity after 1,500 full cycles, outperforming standard lithium-ion batteries in both lifespan and thermal stability. By comparison, Samsung's foldable models typically degrade to 80% capacity after 800 to 1,000 cycles, and Apple's new foldable design is projected to last around 900 cycles. Thermal management is another key advantage. The Pi Phone Fold allegedly incorporates a micro heat dissipation system derived from Tesla EV cooling tech, including graphene coated heat spreaders and microfluidic cooling channels. This allows the device to operate under heavy usage, gaming, video streaming, or multitasking with vehicle integration without throttling. Competitors like the Galaxy Z Fold or iPhone Fold still rely on passive cooling which can lead to significant thermal throttling under prolonged load, limiting performance in real-world scenarios. Efficiency doesn't stop at raw charge speed. Tesla reportedly integrates vehicle-to-phone (V2P) and phone-to-vehicle (P2V) charging protocols, meaning the Pi Phone Fold could theoretically draw power directly from a Tesla EV battery in emergency situations, potentially adding 50% charge in under 10 minutes. This aligns with Tesla's vision of a fully integrated ecosystem, giving the phone an edge Apple and Samsung cannot currently match. Finally, energy density and weight balance play a role in user experience. While Allion batteries are slightly heavier than lithium polymer units, Tesla's chassis design offsets the additional 15 to 20 grams by redistributing mass along the hinge and internal frame. The result is a device that feels balanced in hand and resists accidental bending or creasing, a subtle but important advantage over competitors, whose foldables often feel top-heavy or unevenly weighted. How Tesla could deliver a $219 Pi Phone Fold without compromising core features. While most foldables today command $1,200 to $1,900, Tesla could realistically target a $219 retail price for the Pi Phone Fold and still maintain a reliable functional device. The secret is vertical integration, scale, and smart material selection. 
By producing the foldable OLED panels in-house or through its EV supplier network, Tesla can cut component costs significantly. Estimates suggest that producing OLED panels internally could save $40 to $50 per unit, compared to purchasing them at standard consumer electronics rates. Hinge design is another major cost driver. Instead of expensive aerospace-grade carbon fiber, Tesla could use aluminum alloy with precise CNC machining, balancing durability with affordability. The hinge could still be rated for 200,000 to 250,000 folds, sufficient for the average user's lifespan of the device, but at a fraction of the cost of premium hinges in Samsung or Apple foldables. Combined with automated robotic assembly, the production cost per unit could realistically fall to $100 to $120, leaving room for a $219 MSRP while maintaining standard retail margins. Battery and electronics also support cost efficiency. The Pi Phone Fold's aluminum ion modules are smaller, cheaper to manufacture, and faster to charge than high capacity lithium ion packs found in competitor foldables. While a Samsung or Apple foldable uses lithium polymer packs costing roughly $50 to $60 per unit, Tesla's Allion solution may cost $25 to $30 per unit. Despite the smaller size, the modules can deliver rapid charging in under 12 minutes, with stable thermal performance thanks to micro heat dissipation channels derived from EV battery technology. And that's all for today. So, what feature of the Pi Phone Fold excites you most? The foldable screen, rapid charging, or integration with Tesla vehicles? Do you think $219 is a game changer for foldables? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like the video, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and hit the bell so you don't miss the latest Tesla insights and tech updates.